Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to build a Tanium save question. Out of the box, Tanium comes with a large number of pre-built save questions. These cover many of the most common use cases in IT operations and security, but sometimes you'll need to create your own save questions. To see what save questions are already available, you can search in this third column either by scrolling or by typing in search terms. You can also mark saved questions as favorites to rapidly find and select your most commonly used saved questions. To toggle showing only your favorites, select the favorites button in the top right. To create a new saved question, start by creating the question you're planning on saving. For this saved question, I'm going to create a basic question to get all installed applications. We'll review the results to make sure they're relevant to our desired save question, and once I'm happy with the results, I can select Save This Question. In this page, we'll fill in the details for our new save question. The first thing we need to do is provide it a name and set it as part of a content set. For the name, we'll call this SQ Installed Apps. For the content set, we'll leave it as default. We can then set access to the save question. By default, we use role-based access controls to determine who has access to the save question based on this content set, as defined above. We can also limit access to the save question to only myself as the creator and to the administrators. Next, we choose whether to reissue the save question on a recurring basis. Setting recurrence allows the Tanium platform to gather results for the save question from endpoints that may not be online at all times. When we return to the save question results later, they'll include results from endpoints that may not be online at that moment. We can now choose whether the save question will be available in the drill down dialog or if we can merge it with other questions. In the single sensor save questions, such as this where we're only using Git installed applications, we'll also have the option to enable recent views, which allows you to see the results on a per endpoint basis. In the preferences section, we define how the results will appear. The default tab chooses which view of the data you are presented with first. The grid chart zoom gives you the option of seeing only data from currently online endpoints or data collected as part of the recurring setting above. You can then choose to apply these settings to all users or just yourself. The last thing we can do for our save question is to associate an action. By associating an action, when deploying an action from the save question results, it will default to the package set here. In this particular case, we're going to add a custom tag. The final step is to review the preview section. If we're satisfied, we can click Create Saved Question. This will bring us to the Save Question Results page. Here we can demonstrate the action association by attempting to deploy an action on one of our results. You can see here that the package automatically selects the associated action package that was defined earlier. If necessary, we can change that package. To return to the, our saved question at any time, go to Interact, Interact Content, and find your saved question in the third column. 